Hello and welcome. Today I am going to start a new project. And uh, firstly, I apologize for the bad lighting. And there's a reason to this bad lighting. When I was doing the, well, you can call it a review or overview of the video for the uh, for this boost converter, which you can see over here. <laughs> or if you cannot see the annotations, they're all in the description below. When I was doing the uh, video for this, my uh, halogen lamp that I used for my lighting decided to, you know, I saw a lot of smoke coming out of it. And um, yeah, I think it was good that I kind of just switched it off and just never used it again. And um, this project that I'm starting now, put this aside because it's nothing to do with it. This project that I'm starting now uh, is to do with exactly that my lighting rig and I'm going to create a new one out of LEDs and the LED panels. I'm going to basically what I'm going to do is make two LED panels uh, which will connect to each other. Uh, so I'll have two uh, lighting coming from two directions and it'll be much better than you know what I've got here. So <laughs> thankfully after this project the lighting on my channel will be way better and I can use this for my photography work and all that too. In this video, what I will be doing is showing you all the components that uh, I have collected for this project. And if you decide to follow me, um, you will need all these things. Uh, if you want to do it exactly like me, of course. Alright, so I'll get this stuff out from here. Man, it's been a really quick week. It's like, you know, it's gone by so fast. It's like somewhere along the line. It got shortened. I'm sure Tuesday freaking morphed into Thursday without Wednesday even existing. That's exactly what it feels like. All right, so we have uh, these. These are basically um, oops, strips of LED. And you can see this entire reel here. I will show you those three. Uh, actually, my brother, when, when my brother came in, he was just like, are you, are you buying reel to reel now? I was like, yes, I wish I, I wish I did, because it's so apparently real to real uh, magnetic tape, uh, audio tape is extremely expensive to set up and get all the gear and everything. So, I, as much as I would love to, I cannot afford to do this. <laughs> okay, so we have three reels of LED, and what I, and what I've decided to do is instead of cool white, I've decided to use warm white. Because I find the cool white is too harsh. It's too blue. So I want to do the warm white. It makes it look, in my eyes, it makes it look natural. Even though even though the cool white is supposed to look daylight. But I don't, I'm not convinced by that, to be honest. It just feels too harsh. Now this lighting rig is going to be actually be very powerful. So we're going we're gonna to have a power supply that's 150 watt which will which goes up to 12.5 amps um it depends on how what the wattage is you wanted but you have the led he, uh power pack here uh let's kind of i'll open this out and show you what's the inside of this okay so you have plus 12 volts coming out and i think this is a dual power supply so you may be able to get 25 volts from this however if you do decide to get 25 volts from this the power will be halved of course you know you cannot but what all we need now is 12 volts hence giving us 150 watts now here it says do not open now i i struggle to kind of you know think how am i supposed to connect the wires without opening it because you have to open it to access the freaking screws here so i'm sorry mr warning sign i'm gonna have to kind of slightly open it here anyway so that was just the power supply quickly and I have not tested it I should have tested it but I have not tested it yet let's just hope that it works That's silly of me I got this a little while back but I still haven't tested it the power supply here another th another thing we need a voltage regulator basically what this does it does the it's a buck converter it does the opposite to the boost converter, what I showed you in the other video. 
it does the opposite to that. The boost converter increases the voltage more than the source. Whereas this, what it does, it decreases the voltage and it's regulated. So you get a constant, you get a nice voltage. The reason why I use this instead of buying an LED kit, which has a dimmer switch, is because the LEDs that have the dimmer, basically what, what they do is they use PWM, pulse width modulation, to actually dim the LEDs. And uh, the problem with that is, the problem with that is that, is the camera doesn't like it. Basically, you will see the flickering, and when you actually light something, illuminate something, the camera will pick up the flickering, because that's what pulse width modulation is. So I don't want to use that. I don't want any flickering on my camera. So what I will do is, I will decrease and increase the voltage using this, this regulator here let me just kind of oh my god the lighting is so bad <laughs> so you will get the um there this thing here what i need to do is this will take it from 12 volts all the way down to like 6 volts or something just to kind of give it a you know um a, 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 uh what you call it an ability to dim i will slightly hack this if you want to call it or <laughs> better than hack it i should say i will mod this modify it uh, so there's a variable resistor here which is kind of yeah it's 50k and what i will do is i will tap that under the variable under the vol voltage adjust here so that i have uh, an external you know large uh, variable resistor or potentiometer linked to this thing that will increase and decrease the brightness. So we have the connector here to connect the two panels together. Um, so you will have the power connector for one panel. I can use one panel at a time. So if I just want to do a, like a small lighting thing, a small lighting rig, I could just use one panel. If I want to do two, like a special photography shoot or a special another special shoot, what I can do is I can use both the panels. So this just gives me that option. The two things I have here, these little things, are in fact tripod, oh man, it's too dark, sorry. These things are actually tripod screw threads, so tripod mounts. So I can screw this into, my, into the wood, into the um, panel, and glue this in permanently into the panel, and what will happen is this will screw into any tripod or any light stand. I'll be so happy when this once this project is done to be honest because I'm getting fed up with this stupid makeshift lighting. Also I went out and I managed to get some wood for the panels, some thick wood for wood panels and I got that cut. Thankfully thanks to a mystery somebody who you will see <laughs> in a short while. With regards to these LED panels, what I'll do is I'll just lower the lighting. With these LED panels, basically it's just, you can, it's just a strip, LED strip, a really long one. And it's, it's uh, arranged in a way where you can actually cut along these, um, I'm, sh I'm sure if you can see them there. You can see these copper, copper pads. You can cut along them as however, whatever length you want. And they give you two terminals here that you can solder new wires to and join it and obviously with the rest of it in series. So all this all this is basically is just a whole reel of LEDs connect, connected in parallel. So if I just connect a, a 9 volt PP3 pat battery to all of these, you can see it lights up. And looks quite nice actually. I could use that as a lamp by itself. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool and the underside of this is actually adhesive so what you need what you can do is just peel it back and then just stick it on that's just perfect this mysterious random crazy man helped sort out the wood for me for this project <laughs> okay okay i'll come clean he's not a random on the street but a relative of mine i know i'm loca but i'm not that crazy okay <laughs> by the way this is tiki his adorable cat, who has taken a real liking to me, as she enjoys climbing all over me and falling asleep on me. 
Back to the project, I want to use a more sturdier wood for this rather than using base wood or bass wood, however the freak you pronounce it. Or freaking bass wood. <laughs> yeah, like that's gonna last more than five seconds. I know this will need to withstand the odd bumps or a knock, so I need it to last. And it seems like this dude has uh, got his own projects going. <laughs> as, I can, as you can see, he's got uh, a lot of electronics lying around. Basically, this video was uh, just an introductory video on all the things that you will need and uh, all the components that I have. Of course, more will come in the next video when I will start actually start building the project. And yeah, um, also thank you guys so much for all the comments, all the suggestions, and the likes, and the subscriptions. I've, I'm almost up to 100 subscribers. I'm actually quite surprised and uh, amazed at that. So thank you so much for your support and your suggestions and for interacting with me. You know, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. And of course, I look forward to starting this project with you in the next video. Adios.